Okay, good afternoon. This is going to be part two of the vlogging video of the final. I'm going to walk you through here and we show you what all they did. And we'd really like to hear your thoughts on if this is a good job or bad job. There's just there's so many trees that broke off, bent over. Looks the same as this place. That's the neighbor behind us. I don't even know what tree broke that one off. So, oh, there's another one that splintered real bad. trail you guys see but what trail? went right through there <laughs> so we're gonna walk around a little bit here <laughs> no no oh, you're not coming with me oh is that the way uh-huh okay. well i mean it's really the trail right there but It is a little. Take it over, Bentley. It is a little damp, damp. <laughs> so right there, I don't know. I've been lost count on all the trees that just bent over and splintered. That was off road. So right there where Nala is, where the that's where the trail is. We came up on the side by side, and we cut the corner be to the left of that and we come right through here so and I don't see the mark up there but it's actually the pink mark you can see it way up there right above Nala is the pink mark that's our property line Woo! we're pretty close So that trail right there is pretty well closed off. Yeah, that's hollow. 
here. Oh, that's a good place for trash. Oh my gosh. So that was the logger. Yeah. Cut yeah. down a tree, put the trash in it. Well, I don't know. You want know, to try to go through that? Oh, gosh. I don't think so. I'm going to go right there and go back up and around. Let me go up there, right there. I'll take off that way and just shoot up all these creeks. There's a nice white oak that just got busted off. I'm gonna go up on the other side of this and show you back and I'll show you this white oak from the other side so you can kind of tell where you're at. And there's just so many trees that they just split in half and didn't even try to put them in. To me, no spot. back up on the other side here we're going right back down the same trail he was we can see there You can come over here and go up. Might be easier. Or might not. I don't know. back on the we call it the cut through trail comes kind of like center through the property here it's open back up What you doing? Jax is loving it. Oh, man, like froze. Jack's like, this is a new piece oh. of property. Built in terrain. Yeah. We got an obstacle course. See right above Nala. That's another nice little tree that just got blown apart. And this one ain't worth much, but it's dangling up there.
just more of them splintered and blow apart. So I'm not sure you know that one. Actually, there's a few of them fell on them that was dead, but. Yes, sir. I mean, they gotta get around, but. Speaking of that. Which we got a video of one. This one up here, but look at that fence. So it's a gate. Yeah, gate, actually. But this was the one that broke off. I was using this four before gate post as a berm to get around the corner with the trees. So this is definitely a far messier area than yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, stay right there for me. I'm gonna walk down and film this. At the beach, they cut. Well, they dropped the tree on. And right there's where I've been working at today, getting that fence post, that fence back up. Oh, but they told me not to take down that fence. So it was good, and so far we've got about six days of building fence and setting gates back. So right there, you see, if I get you a thing, right there is that tree just a few minutes ago. We was on the other side of that looking. And now I'm on the uphill side of it. And just kind of show you all the trees that's shoved over, bent over, split off, broke off. And to me, if you already, if you don't clear that hole out like they did, and this trail like they did, I don't know why they just wouldn't drop them in the same spot. So you guys can see that. And that's actually, you see that marking, you see the cone down there, that's, that's the property line. So we're looking kind of over to my neighbors right now. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. But, you know, this tree fell a couple years ago, actually a year ago. And it was right there. See that limb? Right there. That's where that snuff was. So, for no reason, they come down and just had to push it into the fence and do that to the fence. But that happened before. The big smashy down there happened.
Huh? I showed him everything down there. Huh? Let's go down this way and walk up. I'll follow you. Okay. Waiting on Lori. So there's not even nothing been dropped over here. And they come down and push them, all of them out of the way. For, you don't know, I mean, it ain't much. There's a, a side of the pond dam we're looking at right now. You want to stay there and I'll walk down here real quick? Sure. Okay. You got anything you want to say? Yeah, okay. So, more trees. Down, bend over. Just trying to show you guys everything. And I think all, a lot of that right in there, I mean, I think that's all normal stuff to me. But some of this other stuff is... Yep. This is a double tree. Oh, it's a double tree? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, here's one. I kind of forgot to show you some of them. We were told oh. that harvesting a tree a certain way is, is important because if you don't do a clean cut, all of this kind of becomes the splinter of the entire tree that you took down, it basically is. making little toothpicks, which means it's not even really. That's a valuable stress. at the sale. Yeah, I call it a stress tree. A stress tree. Mm -hmm. So, if anybody knows anything, uh, we would just love the information. I mean, we understand that this was going to be a little bit of a messy project. We understood that they were going to leave the, the branches and the tops. And that stuff is not our concern. Mm -hmm. Our concern is how many trees they took yeah. down in the process, how many trees that they knocked into that didn't even fall down. And I, mm -hmm. I saw some trees take some heavy hits and we're swinging and it makes me wonder if they're cracked if they're right. safe besides all the trees that took when it hit uh <laughs> yeah this tree here was one they cut and it took that gate down they dropped one right through that gate and the next one you gotta fix right the gate. there they dropped they dropped between them two posts and broke the post and i asked him if I need to do anything, I took that fence down from that post to here. 
and they said that was a more than enough room then they dropped them that way or they got away from them when it went that way not sure yet but who's here mm -hmm. Of them uh, running the skipper on the dam and almost falling into the dam. Yeah. We're gonna go over there. Oh, cool. cool. What are you looking at, Bantam? He's getting cocky as close as he gets home. Yeah, you first know how to choose that story to talk to. So this tree, I'm no professional logger or nothing, but I don't know why they didn't drop that tree down that. Why did they cut that one? Because they dropped every other tree down the gully if they wanted, but but they decided to cut that tree and drop that. It landed on that tree, and there's two more little ones. Ain't no big deal, but it's just like why are you cutting the trees? You, could just, you had a clean path. Okay. I'm concerned about our cutter. <laughs> nice guys. But. So. What's that, Jack? So, this is. Right here is back where we started. So here's the purple on the tree. And I'm gonna walk you up here real quick. I'm gonna take you inside the goat barn pen and show you. We got a video of this one kicking back. But. And I came home. Just in time to cut that one. There's some more of those. I don't know. I've been trying to do a little research, see how bad that is. But what, a few people have told me that kind of stretches stresses the tree out a little bit but so, but even up here you can see how I many you know they cut the, there's some two or three stumps up running only six inches eight inches but I'm not sure why they had to cut them to get one tree actually two trees but 